Hello friends, welcome to today's video. Um, if you watch Tuesday's video, then you know that uh, this week I am trying out projects that I failed at uh, previously. So, um, for today's video, I'm going to try these Mandala Coasters molds again. Um, I've had quite a lot of trouble with bubbles because of the little indents that are in these molds and um, previously uh, some of you wonderful people had commented that I should use alcohol spray alcohol on to the mold first and then pour the resin in and that would help with bubbles and I tried that method I believe it's in a YouTube short um, I'll try and link it in the I card if I can uh, I tried that method and it worked for that one time so we will see if it works again I've got 91% alcohol for this and I'm gonna be making um, just black black coasters because if it works I'm hoping to finish it off with white to make these little creases and everything pop so fingers crossed that this works um, and yeah let's I guess that's the intro so yeah let's uh let's let's jump in and do that It's bonus unmolding time. Yeah. Bonus unmolding. Um, when I did the skull with the lights in it, I had some extra resin. So just went ahead and made a couple of wings and a pyramid. So there's one wing. And here's the other one. They're very, very pretty very nice and I assume the pyramids gonna look the same this mold I love this mold but man is it hard to get these suckers out of there we go oh nice full tip I don't have any bubbles in the tip which is great very, very pretty. So yeah, that is today's bonus unmolding. Alright friends, let's see how they look. Will it continue to be a fail? Or did I get it right this time? Okay. Okay. 
And it continues to be a fail for me. <laughs> it also picked up some of the mica powders that I had on there from the past. All right, let me, you can see, like it's just riddled with bubbles. So I'm not sure what to do. I used 91% alcohol. I sprayed them heavily. Maybe I just waited too long or something. Get out of here. To pour the resin in. I don't know. I mean, the backs are bubble free, so that's great. Yeah. Yep. Like right in here. <sighs> Especially. Why can't I get this to work? There we go. <laughs> like right in here. Uh, I'm so frustrated because I love, I love these molds. I love them so much. I think they are gorgeous. But if you finish this off with, say, an alcohol ink or a paint, it's going to show every single little imperfection in there. And I just, oh, I'm so frustrated. What did I do wrong, you guys? Let me know. Let me know. Comment down below. All right, so this fail is another fail. Even though it kind of worked for me at, at one point, I believe I have a short uh, video on my channel where I tried this and it worked really, really well. So I don't know what I did wrong this time. If you guys have answers, please let me know. As always, I am not an expert. I have never claimed to be an expert and I will probably never claim to be an expert in the world of resin um but i know lots of you um lots of you wonderful people do resin as well so perhaps you have another solution for me uh to figure this out i would absolutely love to figure this out because like i said i love these molds i think they are gorgeous molds I just struggle so much with the bubbles. I don't know what it is. Anyway, that's today's video. Yet another fail. Thank you all so very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by hitting the thumbs up button. It really helps out my channel, helps me to grow. Also, if you are new to my channel, please stick around by clicking the red subscribe button and ringing the bell for notifications. Thank you all so very much for watching, and I hope that you have a fantastic day. Take care.